Welcome to my channel, everyone. I am the one and only infamous Kentucky Yankee, without a doubt. I want to thank everyone for allowing me to invade your space for the next 10 minutes, and I would like to start by showing you my rig and then telling you what we're going to do with it. This is my vessel. It's a 14-foot Alumacraft John boat with a suspension seat and stick steer steering featuring a little live well. At the rear of this rig is the business end of things. It's a 15 horsepower Johnson two-stroker. It does in fact have power, tilt, and trim. The engine I believe to be a little bit too high, so my goal for the day is to lower this engine just one inch and see if it affects the performance in a positive way. So now let's get it. This is my before measurement. It's about an inch from here to the bottom of the boat. That's a view a little further out so you can see what I'm talking about and how I'm measuring it. One inch removed, I did it as clean as possible, just in case I have to weld it back on there. So now after surgery, our cavitation plate is nearly perfectly even with the bottom of the boat. There's another angle for you. And yet one more angle. Looking like it's time for a test run. Well, we are on the lake, and it's time to test this thing out. A lot of folks worry about my safety, so I do have my helmet on, just in case something were to go wrong, I'll be safe. I believe we'll head this way. Got the speedometer on, 7 miles an hour right now. Let's see what it does. I'm excited. little choppy out here today for this buggy. Just, wah! Woo Need to adjust our seat, it's a little soft. Big wave. Woo! <laughs> Holy moly. Oh! All right, before we get going too much, I'm gonna adjust this seat. All right, let's try her again. Wide open. W-O-T, baby. Looks nice and crisp, clear water. Our top speed last time we tried this rig was 22 and at the very top, 23 miles an hour at one time. So that's what we're trying to beat. Let me give you a view. She's kicking it back there pretty good. I'm curious how fast we're going right now. 22. We hit 23 at the very most already again. Ah, dang it. I thought we would get a little better. Whoa, she spun out on me. Uh-oh, something. What gives? I'm trying to achieve optimum speed. You know, I'm trying to get everything tuned. To me, ah, I get it to where it kind of spins out, and then I back it off just a hair. That's the best you can do with it, I believe. We still got to 23. There's 22. It's basically running the same. The one inch made just no difference, I don't believe. This is what we had before kind of surprised I thought I really thought it would make a little more of a difference I don't believe I'm gonna cut any more off this is just gonna be it 
it's keeping a nice consistent 22 right there so he might have gained a fuzz like one mile an hour because I don't think he used to keep a consistent 22 but that's going to be it let's do a whole shot and acceleration test here we go from zero mm. gouged it look at that 11, 14, 16, 18, 19, 20. It jumps right out of the hole, which is good. That's what you want on a boat. And then 22. Well, that's it for this one, short and sweet. I just wanted to see if lowering that engine one inch would make a difference on the performance of this boat. And it really didn't. Just very little, not much at all. Everybody stay safe out there. Have a good 4th of July, and we'll see you next time.